Hi, this is Dr. Ben Finio with Science Buddies, and in this video I'll show you how to build an improved ion wind rotor. The previous video, which you can find linked in the description below this one, shows you how to build an ion wind rotor using a Van de Graaff generator, a nail, and a piece of aluminum foil or aluminum cut from a beverage can. You can also check out that video to learn how exactly the ion wind rotor works. And while this version works well as a demonstration, there can be a lot of friction with the nail and performance is not always consistent. In this video, I'll show you how to build an improved version with a copper pipe that acts as a much lower friction bearing. Let's get started. First, you will need a piece of copper pipe. The exact size is not critical, but something about a half inch in diameter and four inches long works well. Use a hacksaw or reciprocating saw to cut the pipe to length. And don't forget your safety glasses. Next, you'll want to remove any rough edges on the cut end of the pipe. You can do this using coarse sandpaper, a file, or a rotary tool like a Dremel. You can also remove dust and shavings from inside the pipe by pushing a paper towel through it. Next up, you'll need to carefully mark the exact center of your pipe. This may be easier if you put it in a vise first, since you'll need it there anyway to drill a hole in the next step. You will now need a nail and a drill bit with a diameter that is slightly larger than the diameter of the nail. Now, here's the key step. Carefully drill through one side of the pipe, but don't drill all the way through the other side. You just want to drill until you feel a little bit of resistance and have enough to make a small dent on the inner wall of the other side of the pipe. This should allow you to balance the pipe on the nail by putting the tip of the nail into that dent, creating a very low friction pivot. Before you continue, you should clean out any new shavings from the inside of the pipe. Now, you'll need two more nails and four small rubber bands roughly the same diameter as the pipe. The nails will form the electrodes of your rotor. Attach them to the copper pipe using two rubber bands per nail. When you're done, the nails should be parallel to each other, but pointing in opposite directions and located at opposite ends of the pipe. You can make small adjustments using the rubber bands if you need to reposition the nails. Next, take your nail from earlier and press a piece of electrical tape all the way down the shaft with the sticky side facing towards the head. Tape this nail directly to the top of your Van de Graaff generator so it's pointed straight up. Balance the pipe on top of the nail and when you turn the Van de Graaff generator on, the rotor should start spinning on its own. For complete written instructions and suggestions about how you can use this ion wind rotor for a science fair project, for example by comparing the performance of different electrodes, check out the link in the description below this video. For thousands of other fun hands-on science and engineering projects, visit us online at www.sciencebuddies.org.